Hey everybody. Hey, so it's been a minute since I've uh, posted any kind of updates to this channel. Um, uh, Doc says I should stay away from YouTube. The commercials are like a minute long, which is frustrating in all of itself. There's nobody worth waiting every four minutes of a minute long commercial that I see on YouTube. Sorry. Uh, but you probably feel the same way about me. You're always bitching about Ricky. Well, this morning, I was notified of a post that Ricky had made doxing my friend's address. Again, this person has kept a long journal of the vandalism, the things that have happened to him over time. Uh, he is in coordination uh, and talking and filing police reports. Uh, Ricky thinks that I live uh, with someone that uh, I was associated with in 2002. Um, they continue to harass him. They continue to make him uh, their focal point because they don't know anything about me. Um, Ricky keeps saying that he's tried to serve me and I don't answer the door. Well, you'd have to hit the ring doorbell. Have you hit the ring doorbell? Because I don't think anybody has hit the ring doorbell in probably at least two months uh so ricky's lawsuits uh, all his frivolous lawsuits have all been tossed out of court he's really pissed i ignored him wasn't posting anything about him and then all of a sudden he just gets up on this fucking i'm gonna dox your friend i'm gonna fucking i'm gonna put his life in danger I'm going to fucking go after anyone that associates with you. I'm going to follow. Like, this dude is nuts. Nuts. Uh, and I can't deal with the fucking stress from this dude anymore. It's it's affecting my health, um, my sanity. Uh, I, I've reported this dude to the FBI numerous times, including today. Um, spoke with the same agent I spoke to before. Ricky, expect a fucking visit. Uh, this dude doesn't know when to shut up. Like, he doesn't know when to just move on. And I suspect it's because his channel was demonetized, so now he's got to start attacking me. I did that. What? I didn't do shit. You done it all. Um, this is like the ninth time that he's doxed my address. Recently, he said that he went to all seven of my addresses. And he's talking about skip trace. Like, skip trace. Like, oh, we found you. No, you didn't. There are no bills, nothing tying me to my current residence. You don't know where I live. That's on purpose because you laugh at Winchell's house burning down uh, because you guys were investigated for arson. You go and you fucking harass your neighbors who just suffered through a fire. Uh, nobody uh, that I know wants anything to do with you and they're scared shitless, including family. Uh, Friends, people online, you've attacked people who associate with you, uh, attacked Jerry for no fucking re reason other than oh, you associate with him. You attacked Giles for no fucking reason other than he associated with me. And now you're going after several other people. You've, you've contacted employers. You've contacted landlords. You're posting about landlords. You're, you're harassing them. It's all on record. They've kept record. They're all aware. Uh, past past landlords, with your help from your little meth buddy, Rick Relk1, who is, you guys are under investigation. Do you understand what that means? They are monitoring everything you do. Every post you make. Everything. You're a paranoid professional victim. All you do is whine and complain all the time. Oh, this person made a video about me. This person stole my content. This person doesn't understand fair use. Um, you've gone above and beyond this simple internet meme culture and everything else. You've taken it to real world. It's all documented. I just got the email today of all the vandalism that has happened that I was unaware of until today. Until today. You are really stupid. You just keep admitting your crimes online. You keep doing that. Keep recording all your crimes and keep posting them. You're doing great. Um, you know, I'll say when it's over. 
And when I say when, I say when you're in prison. Where you belong for terrorizing me, my friends, my family for the past three years because you don't like opinions online. Because you white knight for your boyfriend, Tom Zebra. Well, you have 32,000 more subscribers than I do. Your, your, your boyfriend, Daniel Salmon, has 145,000 subscribers than I do. But you guys are getting less views. I wonder why. Because you're, you're toxic and petty and idiots for thinking that it's okay to dock somebody who has had more success filming police than you have. And you're jealous. You reek of fucking jealousy. Um, there's no politicians that have raised 10 grand for you. There's no politician you could call up and get a fucking favor from. You're just bitter souls, bitter, sad little people. Um, and you're just mad that someone doesn't like you. Someone calls out your sovereign citizen bullshit. Someone calls out that you're a fucking paper terrorist. Somebody calls you out that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I read your stupid fucking lawsuit. Dude, you're incomprehensible as fuck. Word salad. Everyone that I showed can't even read it. It makes no sense. You are not a lawyer. Who's writing your shit? Krista Hemming? Uh, Relk? Uh, so, when this guy continues to, this, to post addresses of friends and family, uh, he thinks he knows everything about me. He thinks he, he knows where I work. He thinks I know I'm a freeloader. Uh, all, like, dude, you just put all kinds of, you just throw out shit, see what sticks. Um, and it all comes back. I, I get comments, uh, over the last four months, I've gotten several more death threats from sock accounts associated with Ricky talking about Ricky on Ricky's videos. One of the interesting things that has happened is by not like publishing any content to this channel, um, I've noticed what videos do get watched. And the videos that get watched are all Ricky Pinzone videos. And I'll see spikes, and then I'll check the data, and it'll be like, oh, the source is Discord. Discord sent all these people here, and they all probably reported it. So the algorithm on this channel has been devastated, because mostly because 62 false copyright strikes. I mean... You know, they've, they've reported everything. Ricky wakes up from his meth coma and just starts reporting. Just <laughs> got to fucking report everything. Everything that's said about me. Uh, he really doesn't like the fact that he was called out for straw purchasing a weapon as a convicted felon. And he really doesn't like the trash video going through my trash. He thought, oh, uh, he thought he was clever there. He, he thinks he's clever with these veiled and implied threats. Oh, I'm going to run you over in North Highlands. I'm going to run you over in North Las Vegas. So like, There's like five different fucking uh, uh, times where he said he's going to run me over on your bikey. Um. So, you know, just numerous threats. It just continues and continues and continues. I, I'm assuming this latest a barrage is because he got demonetized and it's all my fault. Um, you're getting like less than 100 views on anything you publish on a channel with 33K. Um, people have tuned you out. They're tired of your bullshit. Uh and you just continue to to attack me and uh, threaten me, my friends, my family, everybody else. There is no other option than to put you to, to, to file as many police reports and get the police to act on your stalking and harassment where I can't even fucking live in peace and do my own thing without this fucking guy putting everyone I know in danger. This dude is a menace to society. Red flag all around he needs to be fucking stopped man so that's why i'm not publishing that's why i'm not doing anything i'm taking care of myself
getting my health together and get and getting me okay. This guy continues to fucking put salt in the wound. He's salty as fuck. He can't get over it. He thinks that he can fucking have channels removed and social media content removed. No. It's fucking I'm responding to everything you do. You're a mentally ill person. Even your own sheriff's department has confirmed that you are mentally ill. The lawyers that you harass, you paper terrorize with your frivolous motions and your bullshit, word salad, fucking Black's Law, solve sit, dictionary bullshit, have said the same thing. This dude is a felon. He uses guns to threaten me. He's, he's, he traffics meth. Uh, it's 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 all documented. I would not say these things. He of course he he's called me a method. Do you have any proof of that? I fucking hate tweakers with a passion. Have for the tw past twenty years, I could see him a mile away, like your boy Daniel Salmon, his meth coma. Uh, it's just go away, you weirdo, you fucking weirdo stalker. I have no interest in continuing. To fucking talk about you. You are bad for ratings. But I have to. Because you constantly keep fucking doxing. And threatening my life. You are not winning any lawsuit. You have had them all dismissed. Your fucking stupid restraining orders. On somebody you've never spoken to. Or met. Or had any discourse with whatsoever. Have all been dismissed because you're full of shit but you're taking it to real world shit drawing dicks on cars drawing dicks on property egging houses toilet papering houses tagging putting ftp putting writing fat crime you stupid fuck uh yeah and harassing my friends family everyone everyone even people that associate with me online you're a fucking monster. You're a monster. And, and people that, 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 that uh, uh, dislike me or what I do here or what, what this channel is about or whatever, this, this can't. This can't. You can't let this shit go, dude. This, this, this motherfucker's a monster. A monster. He is seriously affecting lives. He's making people live in fear. He's having people create journals. Taking pictures. Like they have nothing to do with anything. They're just people that he thinks I'm associated with. He's a fucking monster. He's a fucking monster. Uh, and see, I'm getting all worked up now. And that's why I quit YouTube. That's why I got a fucking... Right. Dude, this dude's a prick. He's a prick. He's happy about being a prick. He's a salty little bitch. A prick, salty little bitch. Um, and he just cries. I mean, even people that follow Ricky, you got to look at that and be like, what a bitch. Right? Like, damn, dude. Like, change your fucking maxi pad already. Bitch, but that doesn't make you a for me. Keep the hands ringing.